This is Dice again from Anime Oasis Reborn, and this time I'm going to do it on font uh, in Photoshop. I'll start by creating a new document, a rather small one considering it's just going to be font. So I'll do 200 by 200. Now I'm going to start by creating a background. I'm just going to make this one a plain purple. And I'll make my... I'm going to change my foreground color. This is my foreground color. This is my background color. Um, to green. And then click my text. Or you can hit T. This is your binding box for your text. You just have to drag it. You can see my text is 60 font. I'll make that 14. You'll find your text, the type of text you have here. I'll put it on Joker Man. You can also just go through by like hitting J and you just get all your J's. You can also go window, character. I have mine over here. You can drag things and put them back in. I have paragraph and character. And this will give you your font type, your size, metrics. This is how wide your text will be. You can make this smaller or bigger, the color of it. So you got a lot of choices here. And this is your language, obviously. And the time, each of these will show up differently. Uh, it's a very slight change. Like, this is none. Sharp. Crisp. Strong. Smooth. Um, also, you can change this, which will show how many letters, how much to put the letters apart from each other. Like, this will make it bigger. Five, twenty-five, fifty, sixty-five, eighty-five, And you can just keep going up as much as you want. The only thing is, is in your drop-down menu, it only goes to 200, but if you are highlighting it and you hit the up button, you can make it as high as you want. Same thing with uh, negatives. So I'll put that back on zero for default. This you can switch if you want. That made it not as big. Now paragraph, this will display like, it's like this now. Now it's in the middle. Now it's right. And you can also pick these ones if you want. Now the other thing you find people do, I'm going to put this back on smooth, okay. I'm going to put this in center. One cool effect I find a lot of people doing is where it's like tech noish where it's like faded off the page here. So right click, duplicate layer. It's just gonna be this. Hit OK. And now while you still have this layer selected, edit, transform, flip vertical. And now you see it's like this. And if you put it down here. Now the other thing people don't realize is you can use filters on these. I like to use blur. This is just saying that you can't, if you do this, you won't be able to edit your text anymore. It'll, but it will take the effect of blur and you just hit OK. So now it's like a normal layer. And if you take your marquee tool, feather, I'm going to put it on 20. You see it does this. Just put it down a little bit. And hit the delete button a couple times until you see how you like it. And now 
I'll work with blending modes on this one. I like to just highlight it and hit the down button until you get an effect that you really like. Like, this is hard light. I think I'll leave it on pin light. And just click out of that. The other tool you can use for text, I'll just turn these layers off, is if you hold this down, you have vertical tech tool, horizontal type mask tool, and vertical type mask tool. The vertical one is one I'll be using working with though. Like if I hit A, B, C, D, so that's a pretty easy way to get the effect like that. Just different angles, and that's the text tool. I hope this helped everyone out.